<laughs> well, we are Mercy Me, in case you walked in on accident. Um, Jesus! Yeah! We literally got here about 20 minutes ago from... We started from Nashville yesterday, and it's taken us forever. Flights, planes breaking, and flights canceling. In fact, this is, this is so true. Uh, one of our friends is an astronaut named Butch Wilmore, who took off... Uh, about two o'clock today to go to the International Space Station. We left four hours before him. He got there 30 minutes before we got here. <laughs> so, uh, there you go, America. Anyway, so we are so thrilled to finally be here, and we are so thrilled there's like a billion of you people here. We're going to make tonight worthwhile for everybody. We had a new album that came out a few months ago called Welcome to the New. We are super excited about this album. Um, we uh, we have had a blast playing it, and um, and we just can't wait to play it for you guys tonight. In fact, contrary to what our label wants us to do, we started selling all of our albums at our live shows for five bucks because we want you guys to have the record and still be able to still be able to go to Waffle House or whatever you people do after us for a good time. So it's like a win win. So uh, this uh, this first uh, song is or this next song is the opening I guess the title track of the album we hope you like it it's called Welcome to the New. Got to live right just stay in line you've heard it all at least a million times and like me you believed it they said it wasn't words but trying hard it wouldn't hurt it sounds so crazy now but back then you could see it. the band so we can all be BFFs for the night is over. Over here on guitar, Mr. Barry Crawl. Back here on bass, Mr. Nathan Cochran. Over here on drums, Mr. Robbie Schaefer. Also on guitar, Mr. Mike Schweitzer. And my name's Bart and we're Mercy Me. Thanks for coming out. 
So welcome to the new. For us, it's not a, a, a new season. It's a new life. I grew up in a, a legalistic church, to say the least, outside of Dallas, Texas, where I was taught you got to give 110%. Do everything you can to not disappoint God. Play by the rules as much as you possibly can, and as if he's like the boogeyman under my bed. And then I, I, I did everything I was told, even probably more than usual. And I started a band. I started writing songs. I started trying to do all of this stuff so that I could somehow make sure that God was okay with me. Only to find out this whole time he's been screaming, I have been pleased with you since the day you called my name. And I have never, ever, ever stopped. So about three years ago, a dear friend of mine came back into my life to remind me that I didn't need to work so hard because... Christ loves me the way that I am regardless of what I do. There's nothing I can do to make him love me any more than he already does right now. And so for me, I had to learn what it meant to stop and rest in the finished work of the cross. And I'm not saying don't go do stuff. I'm just saying if you're doing all of this good stuff trying to jockey for position, don't waste your time. Because Christ withheld nothing at the cross. If you say there's one thing you can do to make him love you any more, then you're saying the cross is not enough, and that is absolutely not the case. And so the new for me is understanding that grace in the cross was enough. That I am a brand new creation, no matter what I've done in my life, it will not change what Christ and how Christ sees me. So I can truly rest. Now I'm walking on sunshine. Hey, I'm walking on sunshine. Hey, I'm walking on sunshine. 